Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Crafty Hackers, we're recreating our favorite Riverdale fashion, decor, and artwork. Be sure to like and subscribe if you love Riverdale as much as we do. Okay, here we go. To make a fake version of the iconic milkshake from Pop's Diner, you'll first want to place a white circle sticker on the inside of the glass. Then, you're gonna take these acrylic paints and mix them together until you have the same color as a strawberry milkshake. Perfect! Now paint the inside of the milkshake glass. Next, crinkle up some parchment paper and glue it on the cardboard circle the size of the opening of the glass. Use chalk to get that whipped cream look. Then stick a stripey straw in it. Now pull the sticker out of the glass so you can see what is being stored inside. We think this one makes a cute Q-tip holder. But fill yours with whatever you want. Put the whipped cream lid on top. Hmm, what's missing? <gasps> of course, the strawberry on top. For this, just mold a piece of clay into a strawberry shape. Then form some leaves with green clay. Mark with a toothpick or X-Acto knife to give it the appearance of strawberry seeds. Stick it on a toothpick and shove it into the whipped cream. Make different flavors to complete your milkshake set. To make your very own Pops lamp, trace the outline of the sign out on a piece of cardboard. Then cut it out. On a piece of paper, draw the Pops sign and cut it out. Then trace it onto a piece of red foam sheet. Cut out the letters red foam sheet letters and add the details. Then do the same for the chocolate shop sign. Use an X-Acto knife to cut out the letters. Outline the letters with a strip of yellow foam sheet. Trace the sign outline onto a piece of thick black paper and glue it to the cardboard to make it sturdy. See how it's coming together? Here comes the fun part. Put the chocolate shop part of the sign on a piece of wood. Then use a drill to make small holes in the letters. Refine and widen the holes by running a kebab stick through them. Next, glue all the letters down onto your sign. Underline pops with a couple strips of yellow foam sheet. Then drill holes in the pops letters. Okay, we're ready for the string lights. Just push the lights through the holes and tape the cord in back. Yes, this is a little time consuming, but totally worth it. Pro tip, break a toothpick in half and use it to push the lights through to the other side. Use toothpicks to create a space between the front and back of the sign so to give your sign that extra glue effect. Glue it all together and light it up. To make this Jughead Jones inspired tote bag, trace the crown out on a piece of yellow felt fabric. Do this by measuring this grid on the back of the felt so you have an easy guide for the points of the crown. Cut it out and flip it over. Then use it to trace a slightly larger crown onto black felt to make the outline. Cut it out and glue them together. Snag a canvas bag and glue the crown to the front. 
Did you know this bag is like $25 online? We just made it for a few bucks. We are on a roll, so let's make a shirt too. Just make the same Jughead Jones crown and glue it onto a gray, long sleeved shirt to recreate the look from the show. That's all there is to it. Okay, we're obviously obsessed and want to turn our whole room into a Riverdale wonderland. To make the neon R, print out the forest and cloudy dark sky landscape. Glue it to a large white foam board. Use a hammer to tack in these nails in the shape of your R. Feed your neon light tube through the nails. Tack extra nails in to get it the right shape. Once you're happy with the placement of the nails, remove the neon and paint on a moon. And those cool pinkish purple clouds onto your landscape. Add the neon and turn it on. This makes an awesome nightlight. Moving on. Grab two pieces of gold fabric and glue a blue strip of fabric in the center. Glue another strip of blue fabric to the side. Then glue all the edges in to make a smooth line. Glue the ends together, leaving one side open for the stuffing. Stuff the pillow with cotton batting and glue it shut. Print out the R and trace it onto a piece of gold felt. Cut it out and glue it onto the blue section of the pillow. Let's make a little flag to go with it. Trace this flag shape onto some old denim fabric. Cut it out, leaving a quarter inch border for the hem. Cut and glue a kebab stick to the top. Glue a piece of ribbon to the ends of the stick. Then fold the fabric over and glue it in place. Glue and wrap the sides the same way and do the same to the point at the bottom. Trace and cut out the gold R. Add gold strips at the top and bottom of the flag. And glue a couple of white pom-poms to the top corners. Hang it up and enjoy! This baseball cap design is super easy. Just trace out that R onto a piece of gold felt. Use a black marker to darken the outline. Cut it out and glue it to the front of your favorite baseball cap. To get those Rosie and the Pussycat ears, trace and cut these two triangle patterns onto a piece of black felt. Cut them out, then glue the inner white triangles onto one side. Fold the ears around your headband and glue them in place. Meow! Now we're gonna make a Riverdale hoodie. It's super easy to do. Just start with your most comfy hoodie and print the Riverdale logo. Tape the paper down onto a board and cut the letters out with an X-Acto knife. Then, tape the stencil onto your hoodie. You'll want to make sure the tape isn't covering any of the letters. Use fabric paint to paint the stencil onto the hoodie. You might have to freestyle the R, D, and A's in the center, but it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. 
When you're done painting, pull the stencil off, and there you go. Which Riverdale DIY was your favorite? Tell us in the comments! If you like what we're doing and want to keep seeing our crafts and hacks, let us know by subscribing and sharing our videos. We want to keep making awesome crafty videos for you, so please help us get the word out about our channel. Thanks for watching guys! See you later!